It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, your days among us are numbered. Stay tuned next week when we will have a calendar of senior happenings from the Counseling Center. Please remember to stop by to see Mrs. Abeda to give her your scholarship information for the graduation program. Juniors and seniors, you have the dress, the tux, and the tickets. Now all you have to do is get ready to travel around the world on Saturday at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Remember to celebrate responsibly and have a great time. Today is your last day to vote for your prom nominees. Here are your queen candidates, Dana Atencio, Kama Belisario, Kem Caracito, Lara Gloman, and Lawrence Stevens. Here are your king candidates, Nathan Broadbent, Toby Diles, Frankie Angaldi, and Asia Mather. We'll get to meet all the prom candidates in person at the prom assembly today, and winners will be crowned at the dance, and we'll have the recap of prom for you on Monday. And finally, today is class color day. We hope you are wearing your class colors to win those Charlie Cup points. NHS is offering tutoring every Thursday until the end of this semester. Sign up in the library for your appointment, then come over on Thursdays during advisory for help. Attention New Link crew members, you will have a mandatory meeting today at lunch in the auditorium. If you are unable to attend, please see Mrs. Murphy in room 123 for some important paperwork. Stay tuned to the Gladiator Sports Update with Kieran Doolittle to hear about Freddy's fundraiser on Monday. Take it away, Kieran. Sports time! Glads, I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Glads, if you're a fan of Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, then check out the fundraiser the Ultimate Frisbee Team is having next Monday. Pop by the Freddy's on Venetucci Boulevard after school on Monday and order your number one wild style with shoestring fries and Freddy's sauce, and the Ultimate Frisbee Team will earn a portion of your sale. You know you want some, so come get you some on Monday at Freddy's. Oh yeah. Glads, we know you can dodge a wrench, but can you dodge a ball? Dodgeball signups continue until April 24th. To sign up your six-person team for this year's tournament, see Miss Melton in room 103. The cost per team is a mere $5. The games begin the week of April 29th. May the odds be ever in your favor. Guys and gals from all grade levels, the WHS Color Guard is looking for a few good members and they will be holding tryouts on April 22nd, 24th, and 25th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. You don't have to have prior experience to try out, you just need to be ready to learn something new. Come dressed in workout clothes on tryout days. Flags will be provided. In tennis news, our Lady Glads are on the road today to play matches against the Fountain Valley Danes at 4 p.m. If you can go out there, they would really appreciate your support. Congratulations to the Grizzly Eater team for their meet on Wednesday. Jared Grace and Dax Wilson were individual event winners as the team set 18 PRs in their hard-fought victory over Pueblo South. If you can make it today, the boys will be in the pool at 4 p.m. against Pueblo East, so plan ahead and come cheer the G-Squared team on to victory at home. The boys are headed to Palmer on Monday for their next meet. We'll have scores for you on Monday. In baseball news, the boys took their bats on the road to Canyon City last night and they gave it a good effort but couldn't wake up those bats. The boys are back on the diamond Monday on the road to play Woodland Park at 4 p.m. Our Lady Glad soccer team was on the road against the Sierra Stallions and tamed those ponies. Way to go, ladies. Glads, Damon's dose of health will not be shown today because of scheduling conflicts. In track and field news, our gladiator teams are traveling to the Fountain Fort Carson Invitational this Friday afternoon. Tune in on Monday for scores and results. Glads, the Pops in the Park concert will be on Sunday, May 5th at Paiute Park from 1 to 3 p.m. and will feature the very talented students from our WHS band programs. Since it is Cinco de Mayo, there will be tasty tacos for your enjoyment and Sproul's Mariachi Band will be playing some festive tunes. Rounding out the concert performances will be 
Quincy Brown, a percussionist from the Air Force Academy Band who will be joining the crew. Come enjoy some great music and food and have a treat from Kona Ice. See you there! And finally, Glads, the Powder Puff game is rescheduled for May 1st. The time has changed also. The game will begin at 3.30 and the tailgate will start at 4. Come cheer on your favorite girls team. The girls have been practicing their moves, but you know, so have our cheerleading fellas. Those might be worth your time. That's all we have for you today, but we'll be back on Monday for scores. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to the news desk with Moose and Hannah. Thanks for that update, Kieran. Glad. Registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th, with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check out the district website to register or see your counselor. Glad. As we head into some warmer spring days, our admin would like to remind us to dress appropriately and stay out of the main office for dress code violations. Here's a short video reminder. Ah, yes, springtime in the Rockies, a time for Mother Nature plays games with weather and when students don't know what to wear but try to look cute and then land in the office for a dress code violation. <laughs> no worries, Glads. The dress code fairies are here to help. Ladies first. Ladies, all those extra planks Mr. Majerison had you do in the winter gave you six packs that you are proud of, and we know you're dying to show them off. Here's a poem to help you decide what to wear. I want to show my belly so bad but I'll make someone jelly and mad. So instead of starting drama, I'll save my abs for my mama. Now, we know you spend your hard-earned money to buy clothes that are cute and show off your best assets. But ladies, let's not be scandalous. Check these out and cross them off your what-to-wear list. Gentlemen, you're not off the hook. Those shorts under your pants, even if they are athletic shorts for the gym, hey, nobody wants to see anything hanging out of your backside. Check these out. No, 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 and oh my goodness, no. Oh, Lord, help us. And for those of you who think you're not in violation of the dress code, see if you can find yourself among these images. No, these are not all Walmart shoppers. And yes, some things are better off left to the imagination. So glad this spring, wear clothing that is practical and appropriate and stay out of the office for dress code violations. Have a good day. And now, for something a bit lighter, here's Miss Bessie to tell us what wonderful meals she is preparing for us today and Monday. Hi! How are you doing, Beth? Glad you could be here with me today. Thank you, Betsy. It's good to see you. Yeah, we were originally going to film out in front of um, a cheerleading outfit in the gladiator cabinet, and, and I was telling the, the guys that it was yours. And we found out you were here, so here we are. Are you going to well, help me? I sure will. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Hi, happy Friday and all that kind of good stuff. Um, today we're having super nachos. Love nachos. And on Monday, roasted chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you, Miss Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Stay off conditions by paying your outstanding lunch fees in person or online. Check Infinite Campus to see if you are on conditions and get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors. Waiting until the last minute to clear conditions means your summer starts without you. Seniors, you must have your conditions clear before graduation, so get started now. Hey Glads, our art students have two art shows where they are sharing their best work. The first is the District Art Show on April 20th at French Elementary from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. This show will have artwork from students in all grades. The high school student showcase will be at the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard. The opening reception for the high school showcase will be on May 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. But the show will be hanging from April 23rd through May 3rd. Both shows are free and open to the public. Next week on April 25th during the day, our district is celebrating our Day Without Hate. Please wear white to show support for this year's theme. Do what is right, not what is easy. This is a class competition, so get your white on for the Charlie Cup point. Stay tuned for information on how to get your event wristband, and then check out the posters around the school celebrating this event. Later in the evening, our vocal students will be on campus at 6 p.m. in the WHS cafeteria to share their vocal talents. The cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults, and refreshments will be there for a small cost, so bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. If that doesn't strike your fancy, join the PLTW Engineering students on April 25th when they showcase their senior project and activities at 6 p.m. in the WHS auditorium. Seniors, after these two events, join your classmates for the Senior Sunset Service at Barnstormers Park from 7 to 8.30. Spend one last evening with your class of 2019 playing games, listening to music, and enjoying camp coffee. And finally, seniors, since our days are numbered, graduation becomes a little more real on May 1st at lunch. 
when we can finally pick up our cap and gowns. Be sure to bring your ID. I'm so excited. I, I can't stand it. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great Friday. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Hannah Hall, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.